one plot. Can we please have you here on stage? Kamon Ratnu. Very, very thankful to you for your humble presence, sir. Konkachi. Ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor for us to have with us the High Commission of Malaysia, Mr. Zamil Arif Zahari. Can we please have you here? A film in Malaysia, I did like to mention this, which was 2014, which was released in 2014, titled The Journey. And this was a celebration of all the different cultures while they go on a road trip and explore the place while delivering wedding invitations. It's one of the most popular films. Talking of the journey, I did like to mention that uh, we were, before pre the Second World War, we were all well connected by road. So if we had to go to Thailand, we would drive down there. In fact, Myanmar was a part of India. And we truly looking forward to filmmakers who would actually come up with a common culture and uh, you know, come up with new ideas, have a screenplay on something similar to pre-World War II, and have a journey with the wonderful ASEAN countries as well. Thank you, sir, for being here with us this morning. Commissioner, Government of Nagaland, Sri Jyoti Kalash, IAS. Thank you so much for being here with us. We now welcome Government of Mizoram, the Deputy Resident Commissioners, Mr. Puzaya. Can we kindly have you here on stage? We have a lovely actor and model with us, ladies and gentlemen, from Manipur, Ms. Lynn Laishram. Could we kindly welcome you here on the dais? Thank you so much. Please put your hands together for the Joint Director of Sikkim Tourism, Government of Sikkim, Mr. Madan Kumar Pradhan. Thank you so much, sir, for being here with us. Deputy General Manager of Exim Bank, Mr. Nirmit Bed. We did love to have with us. Mr. Anil Sharma, thank you so much for being here with us. A whole hearty welcome to you, sir. With a loud round of applause, please welcome Mrs. Maya Kohli, eminent producer from Arunachal Pradesh. Can we please have you here on the dice, Mrs. Maya Kohli? Thank you. Let's welcome Director General of NHRDN, Mr. Dananjay Singh. Can we please have you here on the dice, Mr. Dananjay Singh? We have with us two Bollywood actors. Varun Sharma, can we please have you here on the dais? Can we please have Dr. Gulshan Sharma, can we kindly have you here on the dais, sir? Thank you. I did once again love to thank all the dignitaries for being here on the dais. Thank you to each and every one of you. And now, for the formal inaugural welcome speech, can we please invite upon Dr. Gulshan Sharma, the Director General of International Chamber for Service Industry. Can we countries, my brethren, brothers and sisters from the Northeast, and of course, the most vibrant and the most dynamic and most happening, the media entertainment industry over here in Mumbai. Wishing you all a very, very happy day. First of all, let's put your hand together. Patanjali says, let's have some energy early in the morning. Let's put your hands together. 
And I would request those that are sitting at the back, why not we should occupy the front chairs? That would be very kind of you. Those that are at the back, please move up. That would really be nice so that the people those are coming afterwards, they can come at the back. Please come and fill these chairs. That would be very kind of you. And is Varun sitting in the audience? Where is he, Varun? Okay, just get him. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, before I come to the formal uh, presentation, Parul, I would like to have my laptop. Yeah, I just wish to share that this is in the history of India for the first time, right from the 1947, when we educated ourselves quite a bit onto it, that the entire northeast region of India, all the eight states together, along with, for the first time, the entire ASEAN club together, when ASEAN is having 50 years and India is having 25 years. Let's put hand together for the whole amalgamation and the whole collaboration and celebration and jubilation, whatever you would like to talk about, because media is something happening and entertainment is when really you bring a lot of happiness to the people. Few chairs are still empty in the front, I would request. Some of us, of course, we enjoy Rajya Sabha seats, but please come to Lok Sabha also. They are also quite nice. We can move up also. So I would request you, those are at the back, uh, please move up. We have got chairs over here. Uh, no names, no restrictions. Anybody can come and sit over here. Now. Okay, just a couple of slides I would like to quickly share with you. I would like to work on to that. But uh, before I come to the slides, let me share a couple of uh, very important things. Parul, whosoever is your person taking care of it, the presentation I would request you just to take care and give me the ready-made. Right. Northeast, when we are talking about, the Honorable Prime Minister has taken a lot of initiative. And... Before it used to be a different kind of a version, but now it is Act East policy. And when we talk about Act East policy, it's very important which we have to learn and share over here that under Act East policy, lot of initiatives are being taken, lot of work is going on over there. For the last two years, Mr. Sudhan Shupande had been working very hard how to package the whole Northeast together and bring it into the main forum of the country where people come to know what exactly is the hidden treasure, what is the unexplored treasure, and what all is available as far as Northeast is concerned. Now, in that regard, a couple of programs have taken place in Northeast itself, but now we are moving out of the state. And today, the focus when we talk about services sector, of course, all of us, we know about the GDP part, agriculture, manufacturing, and services. And services having the largest chunk and the component in the GDP of India. And in services sector, of course, number of areas are there. Tourism is there, hospitality is there, airlines is there, media entertainment is there, education is there, health is there, IT is there, telecom is there, sales and marketing is there, packaging is there, anything you can talk about that all is a part of services sector. Now today over here in Mumbai, first of all, our deep gratitudes and thanks to the entire media entertainment fraternity. And I was sharing a couple of notes with Ashish ji, with the Yash Raj, and of course with Agrawal Sab and other, when we were having a little informal talk. Remember when things were moving out, people were planning that a lot of things are available outside where you have a hassle-free film shootings, you can go around, you can have packages, you can have some incentives. But today, with a very open mind, the Ministry of Commerce and Industries initiative, they have come forward. What are you looking forward as far as Northeast is concerned? What exactly Northeast can offer? What are the places which Northeast respective eight governments would like to package? And finally, something has to emerge, like UP has done, Tamil Nadu has done, and a couple of other states have done, where there should be an amalgamated package available. And today, before we will close our, the session in the evening around 4, 4.30, we have got uh, something very interesting. 
on 1st of August, there is going to be an aviation conference to start the direct flights from Guwahati to the ASEAN countries and to the different places. And this morning, when we were talking about, uh, I shared the vision and I learned that uh, Vietnam country as a whole, they have taken the initiative that from the October, they are planning to start the VIA Air, their airlines, which they have got domestic, that will have a direct flight from Delhi to Ho Chi Minh City. Similar way, Fly Dubai is taking a lot of initiative now. You'll be surprised to know if I share with each one of you, there are 143 flights from India every day to Dubai. 143 flights. Imagine how much traffic is going from here to Dubai every day. And when we were talking with the Fly Dubai people, so they were telling, and they gave some incentive further. Today, around 4, 4.15, I'll have the regional head of the Fly Dubai also joining us over here. And when we have an open session, it should be a little bit different dialogue today, which we initiate with each other. It should not be a one-way traffic. The presentations are there, and something comes up and all that. We wish to have your suggestions. What exactly you are looking forward to in terms of hotels, in terms of infrastructure, in terms of transportation, in terms of equipment, in terms of manpower. And ladies and gentlemen, I come from the armed forces. And when I look back 43 years of my life, there is no place better than Northeast in India. When you have not traveled to Northeast, you have not seen India.